leading us this morning. Uh, lessons from a master teacher. This morning, Jesus is going to be teaching us a lesson about loss and forgiveness. Amen. Teaching about loss and forgiveness. Yeah. Matthew chapter 18. And on last week, we were in Matthew 18 and and we had a light, Jesus shined a light on the little children that, that was coming to him. Yeah. Verse 10 said, where Jesus said, Take heed to yourselves that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say this to you, that in heaven their angels are always looking at the face of my Father which is in heaven. Man. And then verse number 11, Jesus says, For the Son of Man. Yeah. The Son of Man, Jesus, when he uses this phrase, is referring to himself. Come on now. It was a phrase that was used to uh, uh, speak of the coming Messiah. Yeah. And, I, and when Jesus is speaking of him, himself, he's saying, the Son of Man has come yeah. to save that which is lost. Oh, man. Verse 12, Jesus says, tell me what do you think? Come on now. Tell me what do you think? Uh -huh. If a man has 100 sheep yeah. and one of them be gone astray, uh -huh. does he not, does he not, is it fitting, is it fitting, does he not leave the 99 yeah, yeah. and go into the mountains uh -huh. and seek after that one That's right. yeah. which is gone to save everyone. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. A great teacher wants to save everyone. Amen. A great teacher wants to teach everyone. Amen. A great teacher wants to be sure that every one of his students get exactly what they need. Great. Great. And so, here we see Jesus talking about the one that's lost. That's right. The one that's lost. What is your actions toward the one that is lost? Uh -huh. And sometimes we see this materialize itself this way. Um, speaking from a teacher's standpoint, um, I can have 100 students in the class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The one Is the one that can't sit down, shut your mouth, and pay attention. Amen. <laughs> the one that's gonna really get my attention is the one. You know, it's, it's, we gonna have a, 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 a different relationship than the other. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I have students all the time. I have students who speak to me when I'm out and I'm at restaurants and I'm at the store, and, and some of them will start by saying. Mr. Peterson, uh, do you remember me? Hey, <laughs> That's always it. And instantly when I get that, I know, okay, okay. Yeah, no, it had to be one or two. And, I, and sometimes I'll be honest with kids, I'll say, I don't. But let me tell you what I know, since I, your name don't come to me in your face, like, you was a good one, wasn't you? <laughs> Amen. You did, you did not require the same attention you you were part of the 99 yeah, yeah. you were not one of the ones that needed my attention Come on now. now let me help you out too because some of you have brothers and sisters amen right right family in your family yeah. and you have brothers and sisters who walk away saying mama love me more <laughs>
this is my lost child. This is my child that's going to need more of me. Yeah. I, yeah, and usually for us that materializes with the, with the uh, for us, the one that's really easy to overlook is the middle child. Yes. Because the middle child realizes that first one is a trailblazer. <laughs> So Jesus points out this, yes, he's saying, I want you to think 
catch this one, but not that one straight too far. Amen. 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 You, you can't, you know, this, this is called drifting. The yeah. Hebrew writer talks about this. Yeah. You know, you can drift away. Yeah. And if you drift away, you can drift too far. You can drift yeah. so far yeah. that the one that's looking for you. Mm. If, if so be mm -hmm. that he find you. Yeah. This is what I'm saying to you. He rejoices not. <laughs> he rejoices more of that sheep. That's right. Than the 99 which did not go straight. Straight. Amen. You know, uh, what are you saying? Jesus on another occasion talks about this, that when that one sheep is found, he says the angels in heaven rejoice. Man. Make no mistake about it, that God is looking for you and God is seeking after you and God wants to have a party in your favor. Man. Man. Even so, it is not, verse 14, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. God is saying, uh, I don't want any of you to die. What does that mean? That God is totally invested in your success. Man. God is totally invested chapter 15. Uh, because in Luke chapter 15, we have three stories of loss. <clears throat> Jesus tells three stories of loss. One being a man and his lost sheep. He recounts this. He talks about a woman and her lost coin. Yeah, right. And one of the things Jesus says about this woman is she lose, if she loses one coin, she'll sweep her whole house until she finds that one. I will tell you, I experienced this on, on this past week. I got my clothing together, getting ready to go to work, and I done laid out everything. And then I had a tie. I couldn't find that tie. <laughs> and after looking for it, looking for it, looking for it, I said, man, I And then I found about three ties that I could have worn mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of that one. I put on that tie that I said, that's going to get off to me and say, I got it. Figure this thing out later on. I got my truck. I said, I can't do it. I can't. I gotta find that tie. <laughs> <laughs> right. My God, put that on me this week to share with you. So do you really understand what it's like? Amen. <laughs> oh yeah. I know it's there right. it's somewhere. Right. And that's me. Amen. That's your value to God. Amen. It don't matter how many I have that don't need, I got to find one. one. Yes. And Jesus tells those three stories. A man and his lost sheep. A woman and her lost coin. A man and his two sons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and what a beautiful picture. A man looking for his lost boy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Man, it's a great story. That's, that's my favorite story that Jesus tells. Yeah. You know, because one more got a problem with you. You know, it, it causes us to look, well, how do you feel about God and his dealing with his children? His other children. The one other than you. The one that it looks like he's given everything to. The one that, that he's, he's, he's showing more attention to. You know, God help some some people. We got we still have issues with mom and with daddy for how they treated Him. your brothers and your sisters. Amen. 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 They gave you more than they gave me. I was talking to one man. I said to him, "Boy, what is really your problem, man? Your parents are good." He said, "Yeah, um, the other two boys. He, they always bought them the stuff the same. They bought my stuff different." And he's still up now. I'm talking about a man that's sixty something years old. He talking about that one time they bought us all. They bought them the two red vodka. They gave me a blue. <laughs> Ain't nobody never seen no blue vodka. I don't even know where they got a blue vodka. <laughs> but, but man, we don't look the same. Mama, mama bought me a truck. Amen. 
Amen. Daddy, daddy. Yeah, they did for them too, but they always made sure. Yeah. Amen. Go read that story. This man, you look at his dad, he don't say, and when our my brother come back, he say, when your son get back. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That he's his son, but he's also your brother. Right. 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 Jesus, make no mistake about it. God is invested in the salvation of all of his children. Peter tells us this, that's 2 right. Peter chapter 3. God is not with us. That's right. That any should perish. Right. Yeah, but you no know, mistake about it. There's some that are going to be lost, but that is not the will of God. Amen. God is not willing that any, any should perish, but that all should come, come to repentance. That's Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, Jesus goes on to say, If your brother trespass against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. Just keep it between you and him. him. That's right. I want you to pay attention to this because this is something that I found with church people, we really don't know how to do. Amen. Take your time, bro. Say that, I want you to pay attention that we're going to read something right now from the mouth of Jesus. And this is the reason we have church mess. Yeah. All right now. Yeah. Amen. 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 And this is something I've had to point out to preachers. You know the reason this whole church is messed up? You know the reason y'all messing up other people's churches? And you know the reason all of this stuff is out of hand? Is because you're not doing what's written in your Bible. Amen. Amen. You can read it and you can preach it, but you can't do it. Amen. Preach. Preach. Mm. And Jesus says, now listen, if you have a problem with your brother, stop right there. That's right. Yours. That's right. Because there's some of us that have a problem with some people and they the last ones who know about it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know. On day one, we just planned. Mm -hmm. 
Day 10, we just plan. Mm -hmm. 100 days of you plan, uh -huh. she done had enough of your food. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. She gonna jump over across my piano and start choking you. <laughs> and you gonna seriously be confused as to what's going on. Oh, yeah. You been breaking the rules for 100 days. Mm -hmm. And now you don't know why this person wanna choke you. <laughs> And God is sitting here trying to say to us, people, you all got to be together, you're in the same family, you're in the same class, you got to get along. This is the way you should deal with one another. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And oftentimes, it's church discipline. Oftentimes, we're doing everything but what he told us to do. It's the thing that I hate about students. You know, when I'm correcting them on the rule breaking, well, you ain't never said nothing before. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, now, you can do what you want to, but you ain't gonna lie on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Rich. Well, you ain't never know that's a lie. Class? Yeah, yes, he did. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna call you a liar.
The reason you got a problem is because you don't do stuff the right way. Amen. And the teacher has already laid out how this should do. Verse 17, he says, if he neglect to hear you, tell it to the church. If he neglect to hear the church, this is what Jesus said, treat them just like the heathens. Because you know what? That's exactly how he acts. You treat him how he acts. Right. If you take Bible to him, you take Bible to her, and she don't respect the Bible, he don't care what Jesus said about it, mm. you treat him just like you treat a sinner. Right. Because God people, Jesus says, my sheep, now I'm talking about my sheep, my sheep, hear my voice. When I start talking, my sheep make that adjustment. If you don't You know, till seven times, I'll forgive him seven times. You know, what do you think about that, Lord? 
Peter is good. See, because the Jewish teaching on this is if your brother uh, sin against you in a day, you forgive him three times. Peter says, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to forgive him six times and I give him a freebie. Just an extra. What do you think? We're going to take Jesus. I'm doing pretty good. Jesus says, uh, no. Okay. Let me give you this, Peter. I say if you don't forgive him seven times, let's go with seven. Seventy times seven. In a day. Now, in that, I see it in your eyes. Isn't that a tough pill to swallow? Amen. Amen. Jesus sitting here saying, let me carry one. 490 times in a day. He sinned against you. Forgive him. Here's the point, doctrinal point. Great teacher teaches his students how to set goals. Amen. <laughs> What are you saying, Jesus? Oh, yeah. Boy, you said the, you said you are too low. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, you want to set a goal. You let's raise the bar. Let's 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 set a let's set a real standard. And we're talking about forgiveness. And, and, and you know the thing that really should direct and guide us in forgiveness is you and your relationship to God. Amen. And, and how much has God forgiven you? All right. All right. All right. Preacher. 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 And his forgiveness for you is continuous. It's daily. Amen. Every day. He got he to look at you every day and constantly forgive your transgression. Yes. Right. Yes. yes, he does. And so, Jesus goes on and says, listen, verse 23, this is what the kingdom of heaven is like. It's like unto a certain king, which took account of his servants, and when he had begun to reckon, was brought to him one that owed him 10,000 talents, or in the, in the language, 10,000 drachma. For as much, this is you, isn't it? Don't you owe God a lot? Oh yeah, amen. Don't you know, I mean, if God looked at the books today, yeah. isn't your name in the old column? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So here it is, he got, he owed, in verse 25, don't miss this, he owed it and he could not. I don't care how much work I do. For those of us who like to do overtime. Man. Oh, when they do overtime, man, we might pay really go up. I don't care how much time you have. I don't care how much you work. You will never be able to pay. Amen. So, his Lord commanded that he be sold. Sell him, sell his wife and his children till I get my money. Sell everything he had and pay me. The servant therefore fell down, worshiped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me. You ever prayed that prayer? Lord, I know I owe you. I know I'm a wretch. I know I'm a mess. Have patience with me while I try to get this thing right. Amen. He says, I'll pay you all. The Lord of the servant, you see your teacher? was moved with compassion. Yes, sir. He loosed him. And he said, you know what? Don't even worry about it. You don't have to pay me nothing. I for give. Yeah. This is the core of salvation. I forgive your debt. Amen. Amen. Because I know Amen. Now here's a blessing for some of y'all. Y'all got some people that owe you something, don't you? Amen. 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 Before you go jack him up for that five dollars you get. <laughs> I mean, man, we will trip about five dollars. Amen. Amen. Have you ever 
consider, this is something my daddy used to say, son, boy, if you can't afford to go without it, don't get it. Amen. I know everything that they saying. Oh, I promise you, I'm a proud of yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you can't do without it, don't get it. Amen. Because chances are, if we just play the probability, chances are the person that got behind and got life go to the man, they doing all they can do just to get it. Just to get back on track, whatever that is. That's different for different people. Amen. Some of us on track is. So I'll just forgive the debt. Uh -huh. The same servant went out, found one of his fellow servants that owed him a hundred pence. Oh, yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He did not, now this man just forgave you ten thousand. Uh -huh. Like somebody for giving, for giving you ten thousand dollar debt, and yeah. you go out and find somebody that owe you a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Lay his hands on him. See, I told you that's what we do. We just go jack you up by the car. Yeah. Took him by the throat. Oh my lord, I, I, he's going to grab his father. <laughs> he grabbed him by the throat and said, yeah. You better have my money. Mm -hmm. Pay me what you owe me. Mm -hmm. His fellow servants fell down at his feet. Mm -hmm. We saw him saying, Same words. Yeah. Same words. Same words. Yeah. 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 Have patience. patience with me. Yeah. Same, same words you said to your Lord. Uh -huh. same. same words. Same request. Same honesty. Same sincerity. Same intention. Yeah. Have patience with me and I will pay thee all. He will not. Yeah. Now, I want you to be, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, God people, I'm telling you, I'm, I've, I've sat and counseled with folk who are sitting telling me that you have a problem with forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I just don't. Well, you don't know what she did to me. I don't know what she did, and I don't know what he said, but I know what you did. Mm -hmm. And I know what your Lord did. Amen. And I know. Listen, here's another thing that Jesus says on another. It, when Jesus, after he gives the model prayer, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. Now, on two occasions, Jesus teaches this model prayer. On one of them, he stops right there and turns to his disciples and say, if you don't forgive men their debts and their trespasses to you, neither will your Father in heaven. He will rescind his forgiveness towards you. Wow. Yeah. What are you saying, preacher? What are you saying, teacher? Jesus says, if you don't do for other people what God has done for you, he's right. going to turn and give you the same treatment that you've given everybody else. Amen. Amen. You do it, preacher. He took this man, cast him into prison, till he shall pay the debt. Now, how are he going to pay you from jail? Amen. Amen. <laughs> your, I mean, your logic don't even make sense. Maybe if he's out, he can work and start to pay. Maybe, but he can't, he can't earn a living and pay you your money. When his fellow servants saw what he had done, they were sorry. Hurt to their heart. You ever seen somebody mistreating somebody else and you, it really genuinely hurt you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're mistreating somebody else and I mean, you know, man, you might as well be doing it to me. Because if you had the opportunity, oh, yeah. you would do it to me. Don't, don't, don't ever forget to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. That's right, man. Because today is them, tomorrow you. They came to their Lord, they told them all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he had called him, said unto him, You wicked servant. Hear the words of Jesus. You a wicked servant, I forgave you all the debt for one reason and one reason alone. Why? Because you asked me. Should not you have done also the same thing and had compassion on your fellow servant? Even as I had pity on you, his Lord was angry. Mm. Deliver him to the tormentors till he 
and shout. I'm going to do the same thing to you that you're doing to somebody else. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you. If you from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Yet God is teaching us about forgiveness. So, what should we do? Here's some. Make salvation your goal. Man. You know, he's trying to teach us how to set proper goals. Let salvation be your goal. And realize this, that unless you uh, practice this art of forgiveness and master this art of forgiveness, you can't be saved. Man. You, then, are lost. You're the lost one. You're the lost sheep. You're the lost student. You're the one that's going astray. You know, Jesus talks that, you know, I, I look at this, this story of these two brothers in Luke chapter 15, and, and that's, that's a very good story. It ends, which one of the brothers is truly the lost one? You know, we always look at the bad son, the one that went out. But, 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 but when, when the brother returns, the other brother now, who's supposed to be the good one, has a problem receiving him. And it leaves with that question, which one of these boys is truly the lost one? Yeah. Which one of these, you know, he has a problem forgiving his brother. His father is sitting there saying, welcome home, son. It's okay. You're sitting here mad. You upset that father has forgiven him. Yeah. Is that some of us? Amen. Time we look at people. Like, why she? Why she so blessed? Mm. Seems like they get everything. I have some people that say that about me. Yeah. They actually say it to my face. Yeah. And I say, you don't serve them like I do. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> look like you get everything. Well, I mean, I really love them. You know? yeah. Some of us have a problem with seeing other people. Yeah. Some of us have a problem with seeing God do something for somebody else. Amen. 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 You ought to check yourself. Amen. Amen. Why, why, I, my prayer for God is that you get everything you ever want. Amen. 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 And that you live long enough to regret even getting it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want it, yes, sir. and it's according to the will of God, God bless you. He's trying, God is trying to fix how even how how we even look at our fellow students, how we look at other sheep. Mm -hmm. We should moreover rejoice for a God that is patient and kind and loving and compassionate and forgiving. Yes, sir. We should look at these qualities and seek to emulate how you've been doing. Have you been a good student of your teacher? He's trying to teach us these things. We have to apply them to our lives. Man, if we haven't done it, we can start today. We come by turning, changing our lives. That's repentance. He's calling each and every one of us to that. Come as we together stand and sing a song we encourage you.